If you know anything about nutrition and exercise, you know that if you want strong bones, ligaments, tendons, muscles, hair, teeth, skin, nails, whatever, you need the five types of collagen in your diet. You can grab that through Biotrust. This stuff is awesome, guys. Click on the link in the description. If you don't know anything about it, you can watch a couple of the videos and get up to speed, but do yourself a favor and grab some. I've said this so many times on this channel that it's starting to sound like a meaningless cliche but we've got to resist the temptation to think of it as anything other than the truth. I and many other independent journalists have proven beyond the shadow of any doubt through video after video that the main objective for mainstream corporate media, which was infiltrated long ago by the CIA and whose foothold has only intensified through the years, that the main objective of this corporate global news entity is to tightly control the societal narrative. They use tried and true incessant psychological operations on the minds of the masses with the intent of distracting, deceiving, and dividing us. If you can control the minds of individuals, you can control the minds of crowds. If you can control the minds of crowds, you can control the minds of nations. And with the minds of nations in your back pocket, with fiat currency soundly in your control, and with the narrative firmly reined in, you are the master of the chessboard. And with that in place, a distracted, deceived, and divided people cannot rise up and slay their slave master. Beyond even having the will to do so, they have no knowledge that they're even being controlled. Mainstream media is a propaganda machine. They run cover for the controllers behind the curtain, and the masses aren't even aware that there is a curtain, let alone that there are puppet masters behind it pulling the strings of people, pulling the levers of power, and calling the shots. Corporate media is the potent poison of the masses hidden in plain sight. And a criminal justice system that disproportionately harms African American and Latino people, that particularly treats black citizens like subjects of some foreign authority to be occupied not citizens and not constituents. Black man who died after a white police officer knelt on his neck as Floyd repeatedly said, I can't breathe. Black lives do not matter as much as white lives. If black lives matter as much as white lives, Mr. George Floyd will still be breathing. If black lives matter as much as white lives, Ahmaud Aubrey would have finished his job, his jog. If black lives matter as much as white lives, Christian Cooper wouldn't have been falsely accused. Black lives do not matter as much as white lives. Why? Because we tolerate hatred, bigotry, and invidious discrimination. We tolerate it, and because we tolerate it, we allow it to be perpetuated. We in this country have the power to do something about the racism that exists as it relates to black people. We have tolerated it since 1619 and the arrival of black people in the Americas. Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels said, propaganda works best when those being manipulated by it are confident that they are acting on their own free will. Virtually everything they show you on TV is a massive lie to pacify the throng and steer their mental faculties so that year after year, the best they believe they can hope for is to divide up into their red faction or blue faction, bicker and fight among themselves, and choose a vile ruler to rule over them. Viewing the crowd's participation in elections and voting, and witnessing the reaction to more freedom-snatching laws and regulations, which restrict even more liberty and steal more property, can be rightly seen as the thermometer by which the social engineers and their puppet masters gauge the temperature of society and the effectiveness of their current propaganda campaign. And every year we fall in line and slip into the construct of belief they've created for us. One of the favorite tools in the corporate media and political arsenal is their keen ability to roll out the race baiting carpet and the easily beguiled masses fall for it every single time. People just don't understand the concept that when an injustice is done by one man anywhere, injustice is done to all men everywhere, regardless of race, creed, or religion. But race baiting generates views, it attracts advertisers, it makes money, but more importantly, it keeps the oligarchs in control and keeps us blinded and defeated. 
We could never rise up against our slave masters when we're busy rising up against one another. Ask yourself, why is it that the people of Minnesota are burning down and looting stores because of the alleged death of one black man? Why isn't there the same fervency and ferocity toward the international bankers who've killed more people, blacks, whites, Hispanics, Asians, than you can possibly comprehend? Why would they choose to raid and loot a target and burn an auto zone and break a whole bunch of windows and destroy part of their city when this same energy could be directed at our common enemy who steals from us every single day? Steals our freedoms, steals our resources, takes our money, takes our property, sends our loved ones off to war, constructs war machines against us, lies to us every day through CNN and faux news, and destroys us and the people of other nations with their military industrial complex and here domestically with their prison industrial complex. No people could possibly tamely surrender their liberties, nor could any of us, if we stood together, be easily subdued if we made sure knowledge was diffused and virtue was preserved. On the contrary, because we are universally ignorant and debauched in our manners, it's apparent that we have and will continue to sink under our own weight without the aid of foreign invaders. A general dissolution of principles and manners has more surely overthrown the liberties of we ununited Americans than the whole force of the common enemy. We have to understand that while the people are virtuous, they cannot be subdued. But when once they lose their virtue, they will be ready to surrender their liberties to the first external or internal invader. And that's exactly what's happened to us. We have and continue to defeat ourselves. And if we don't wake up and unite and stand together, we will surely hang separately. And the sobering reality is that the rope is already around all of our necks. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support more content like this, grab one of these hard-hitting, conversation-starting shirts from the store. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video. Deaf and dumb thespians take the silent stages with their cobweb throats. They can't sing any notes, so the audience begins dispersing. The actors get pissed, they start cursing. They're tired of rehearsing. They're ready to do the damn show. They're ready to go. You know what I mean? Fuck the quarantine. Fuck COVID-19. Fuck a fucking vaccine. Social engineering at the center stage. About to go full circle when we turn the page. Miss Deborah Burks, you old bitch, putting COVID on old bits and certificates. It's ridiculous. We, we should be enraged and our rate at our newfound fate and change the current state of mind controls as Mr. Gates pulls the levers of power from his ivory tower. He is a Zionist, a mad scientist with unlimited funds. We need to run or we need to get some more guns. And we need to do that shit while it's possible. Cause pretty soon I swear it's not gonna be optional. Are you hearing me? The wealthy be stealthy ushering in this tyranny. I don't want a mask, give me an ooze.